name is Shravanti Rampalli. I am a scientist at Institute for Stem Cell Biology and Regenerative Medicine. The two areas which I work uh, with at the, uh, at the institute right now, they are epigenetics and stem cell biology. I'll explain you what does it mean. Epigenetics is uh, nothing but the flow of the information, how it, the, the, the DNA which is present inside the cell, how the, the blueprint is expressed inside the cell or how the information which is captured, deco is decoded inside the cell, is regulated by the process of epigenetics and that's what I study. And the other thing which I study are the stem cells, uh, which are very unique. Uh, all of us know that we come from a single cell and uh, the cells which have the most capability to give rise to all the cell types in the body are called as the stem cells and they are very unique in nature, they are present for a very short duration during the development and then only specialized kind of stem cells remain in your body but those cells cannot give rise to a person as such, they have limited functions. I try and understand how these cells uh, have this, gain this capacity to give rise to different cell types and how they are restricted as one develops into an adult being. So to connect the two things which I spoke to you about, epigenetics and stem cells, now one can imagine that uh, in one complex organism like us human beings, we are made up of trillions of cells. But all these cells make up different organs like your eye does something very different than what your hand does, what your leg does, what your muscle does, etc. So the DNA or the blueprint which is present inside each cell is same but each organ is doing something totally different than the other. Now how do you get this specificity? Now this is achieved by the process called as epigenetics I just explained. There are certain molecules inside the cell which actually dictate the flow of information from the genome and these are called as epigenetic regulators. So I try and understand how these epigenetic regulators specially do specialized fun functions in the stem cells which are no longer present in an adult developed terminally differentiated cells. Now the importance of this problem is quite essential these days because of uh, tissue injury or organ replacement. We are in desperate need of kind of cells which can heal the process. And now stem cells seems to be one of those promising candidates. So it is really essential for us to understand how stem cells behave and what actually regulates their behavior, right? And, and another aspect of is aging, right? We all start from one egg, we develop, become an adult, and then we eventually age. So what happens to our genome? Why the same information which is decoded, why the information which is presented is not decoded the same way what it was in a young state? And that's all we study using stem cells and epigenetics in our laboratory. It's the passion which I like about, passion to understand something, to pursue something, what you are interested about. and. Uh, and, and it allows you an opportunity to go into depth to investigate a problem which you are always been interested to understand. When you look around and try and find a diseased person or a person undergoing aging, you really wonder how did this happen? And I think the most exciting part of the research is being a kind of a detective which allows you to investigate the problem so that you can understand how you yourself function. And um, obviously being in this profession, you meet passionate people like uh, same similar people who have same passion for other subjects and we tend to talk about different areas with, to understand uh, schemes which are bigger than one's particular interest and I think that's what really interests me in science.